Hi everybody, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. For those of you who are targeted, doesn't need any explanation. For those of you who do not quite understand what being a targeted individual is, I'll try to explain it to you. Uh, it is my belief that myself and my girlfriend Petra have been uh, selected to uh, participate in non-consensual human experimentation into mind control and coercive technologies. Um, why do I say this? Well, uh, as a targeted individual, I have undergone uh, a great many experiences and it's still going on this very moment while we speak uh, while we speak I'm under attack from microwave mind control uh, over the course of several years my girlfriend and I discovered we were being targeted we discovered people were following us everywhere we went we discovered people were talking about us everywhere we went talking about things we did in the privacy of our home what we just said to ourselves in the bathroom or uh, the sex we just had basically uh, letting us know that uh, they there are people who know our secrets it's part of the process of making a person paranoid um, and we had people following us around we realized uh, I can't tell you when the thing started, but uh, in the hardcore phase, we call it, we realized about a year into the hardcore phase that we were both being drugged continuously, daily, with uh, MK Ultra like drugs, LSD, amphetamines, barbiturates, uh, and probably drugs that I don't even know exist yet. Um, but they had the effects of mimicking schizophrenia or psychosis. Um, they had the effect of making us paranoid, making us extremely emotionally uh, labile, excited, excitable, depression, anxiety, fear, a great deal of fear. Uh, fear seemed to be a main thing, but LSD-like, uh, not a whole lot of hallucinatory things, but it was quite clear we were being drugged. I mean, uh, there were times where, you know, you'd, you'd walk by and get sprayed with something, and then 45 minutes later you would feel... <laughs> or sometimes five minutes later, you know, the feeling of taking off, of being having just been administered a huge dose of some sort of amphetamine, hallucinogen, hypnotic. Anyway, uh, we realized we were being drugged every day, daily, constantly. We used to joke about it that uh, you don't even need to open the medicine bottle. It worked right through the package. Um, okay, the drugging... Oh, the bugging. Yes, uh, we discovered that people had come into our room and and sprayed like some purple crunchy stuff around everywhere and um, and they had put it in places like to make sure it would be places that you would touch like and if it was a doorknob or a keyboard or a button or a pair of scissors or a pen pencil a knife a screwdriver a pair of pliers uh, you know, anywhere we would touch, they wanted to make sure we got this stuff on our hands. Uh, then we realized also that there was mist coming into the room, a whitish mist. Um, we believe that this mist is actually the chemicals uh, used in chemtrails. And um, we ended up with Morgellons disease. We didn't know what it was at the time, but. Uh, we had fibers coming out of our skin, we had hair that was growing, we had hairs growing that were uh, impossible to pull out, very difficult black bristly hairs. Uh, these bugs that they put in our room, they started with like fleas and chiggers, okay? Um, 
fleas and chiggers, and then these all these other crazy amazing bugs came that were we could not find in any book. Little tiny red, black, tan, or clear uh, hair-like insects. They looked even under a magnifying glass like a little tiny piece of hair about a millimeter long and they would walk slowly down your finger until they got to your fingernails and they'd go zoop right under your fingernails or into the pores of your skin and I would scrape them out with a knife and they would still do 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 zoop and and they hurt a lot. These things really really hurt. Uh, there were little tiny black specks it's like a look at like a blackhead. You'd look on your face and you'd say, hmm, oh, I got a blackhead here. And you'd pop it and you'd look under the magnifying glass and you'd see that there was something in there more than the pus. It was a little, like, larval creature that had two red eyes and a nose and a mouth. And our bodies were covered from head to toe in these things. We had sores all over ourselves. There's videos of me with horrible sores, festering sores, sores that won't heal. I still have sores that don't heal in my nose. Uh, and out of these sores would come fibers and insects. We had the feeling of, of worms or bugs crawling around under our skin. And I know this is, this is the cliche, well, you must have been on drugs. Yeah, we were on drugs, all right. Lots of MK Ultra drugs that were being administered to, administered to us without our knowledge or without our consent. But yes, there were actually bugs crawling around under our skin. And you could see them. Um, the little black dots, uh, I, I don't know because there was a period where they would like shoot off of us and you'd sit there on the bed and these little things would shoot off of you um, the uh, oh there were these nematode like creatures they looked sort of like a worm thing with a little head some of them had like furry hair or wiry stuff on their head I only had a, a like a, a 50x loop to look at this jeweler's loop but they had eyes and and they were intelligent you could hold them in the pliers and they would look at you as you moved and these things could jump across the room into your it was like they knew who you were and that you were their target and they would get you they would jump and go and wiggle their way into your skin and, and, and it really hurt and they were very fast and very strong uh, there were times occasionally when we would manage to get them with pliers and uh, and pull them out but uh, I don't know what these creatures were later on we discovered um, that by, by taking clear tape and sticking it to all the surfaces like on the desk that looked clean and everything you would pour alcohol on the desk and you'd see this little line that would move as the alcohol would go and these things would go and sort of shoot up as though there was all this life on the desk that was now being killed or I, I don't know. Uh, when you stuck the tape to the desk you'd end up with this silvery black powder everywhere on the tape. You couldn't see it with your naked eye on the black desk but on the clear tape it was obvious. Plus we found little round almost semi almost a full circle but a worm had segments like my finger chook 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 little segments uh, you know, about two millimeters, and you could only see these insects when they were stuck to the tape. They were clear in natural light. They were invisible in natural daylight. Only stuck to tape could you see these insects.